What's good, YouTube? Because a copy here. So, I hope you guys are doing good. We got a request from Way. This one's a quick song. This one's less than two minutes long. He said, This, your buddy is in this band. You said they were in the white t shirt, and you said that they have a big following in Europe after doing some festivals and stuff over there. So, that's awesome. I love whenever you guys show me the bands of the artists that you guys have met and that you know personally and everything like that. So, Way. Thank you for another band that comes directly out of your own personal life catalog. That's freaking awesome, man. So this is Stiff Richard's Bad Disease. And this is at the nice day to go to the club festival from this year. So this is a very recent performance right here. That's a cool festival name right there. I like that festival name. I gotta get my fucking headphone wire out of the way. That shit bothers me when it's up front. That's why it's always back here. So, way, thank you for your request. I appreciate you, my friend. If you guys are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down the lyrics, instrumentation, stage performance. I like going the whole nine yards on breaking all the lyrics and meanings of the songs down inside of these videos. We get to have a lot of awesome conversations and beneficial discussions when it comes to the things that you go through in life. I say this in every video. If you guys are struggling with a mental health problem or an addiction problem, please go get professional help. You can make your life better. You can live out all of the things that you want to and inspire and motivate other people to also pull themselves out of those struggles when they're going through them in their life. That's what it's all about. That's why I get on here and talk to you guys is because I have personal experience with alcoholism and drug addiction that I serve survived and it's a blessing to still be alive the least that i could do is to encourage other people that are going through that to pick themselves up out of it and live a better life for themselves because as someone who's been through it you really can say a lot of the right things that would push a person to actually go get that help and i love whenever i see anyone on here saying that they went and got help or you guys talking to your, each other about your problems and helping each other out cheering each other up in the chats and the premieres and everything i appreciate you guys for building this community on here with me so we're gonna dive into this one for you way thank you again for your request i'm vacasa coffee a reaction video a day keeps the doctor away fuck those apples we got stiff richard's bad disease <laughs> Well awaited! Up the fucking cockle divers! Save the dudes, pour the lager! Okay. Oh my goodness, his energy is epic. I love the energy. Very raw, very punk. I figured it was going to be a punk song when I saw how short it was. I like the energy at the beginning of this. That's a good way to hype up the crowds. We got a classic punk vibe here. I love it. Well awaited! Up the fucking cockle divers! Save the dudes, pour the lager! This is awesome. We don't we don't have a whole whole lot of like really genuine punk style music on here a lot of the time. We get into more classic songs and like softer love songs a lot of the time. So this is a total curveball that Way has just sent our way with this one right here. This is just a pure punk attitude right here. Hey doctor, I got a problem, you gotta fix it, you gotta solve them, you gotta sell it to me. Sell me the solution, but also medicate me. <laughs> oh man, he's like, so come on, give me your best pitch, what should I do with my life, right? <laughs> says, I don't know why I feel like this, all I know is how to get my fix, how to riddle my brain out. Whew, saying, all I know is how to riddle my brain out, like, 
circular questions with no answers. I'm losing my mind. I need to get my fix, he says. He's like, give me my fucking meds or something, right? <laughs> Damn. That's very blunt. It's very straightforward. That's classic punk style lyricism right there. I like stuff like this a whole lot. I love the energy, the vibe. Everybody there definitely had a fun time. The crowd with this energy right here. Everybody there definitely had a good time with this song. This is a good energy song here. All I know is trying to get my fix. I don't win with my body now. I love these guys. These guys are a really, really good punk act. This is a very solid way. Thank you for this. I love punk music. You guys know that that's where I started with my own music was folk punk style music. Very rebellious extremely rebellious right that angst of youth is what i was filled with back in those days so stuff like this i appreciate the fuck out of i went to a lot of punk shows whenever i was younger i played drums my very first band i ever formed with some of my peers from high school when i was like 14 i played drums in like a punk like horror -y kind of thing with some pals so punk really was where I started with a lot of my music, even drums, even down to the drums before I started playing guitar a lot and decided to start writing lyrics and stuff. I appreciate punk music so fucking much and still listen to a lot of it in my spare time, especially folk punk music. I really like folk punk a whole lot. Yeah, so, way. You hit me with an awesome, awesome kind of nostalgic feeling with the vibe of this song. This is a very, very nostalgic vibe for me. I listened to a lot of stuff like this growing up. Hey, what the world? What did I miss? What I know is that I get my fix. I don't really love my body now. Bad to say. Bad to say. Who is bad with dreams? It's a nice day to go to the club festival. Maybe we'll have to put that on the burner and see about them, right? Maybe we might have to check that out as well at some point. Just random shit that pops up, I think. Maybe if we've never heard it, we could check that stuff out too. I really, really enjoyed this a lot, Way. Thank you for this. I appreciate you for this. This was a really epic punk song right here. The lyrics were for the last verse were, Hey, doctor, you got a pill for me. You got a miracle cure hidden up your sleeve. Sell it to me. I don't know why I feel like this. All I know is how to get my fix, how to riddle my brain out. Man. Talking about that fucking pharmaceutical industry, the big pharma, he says, come on, doc, I know you got a miracle cure that you want to make a bunch of money off of and sell to me, so go on ahead and hit me with it. And that is where a lot of addiction problems actually start, right? People will be like having a problem with pills and shit like that. And then if their prescriptions and stuff get cut off suddenly and they start going through withdrawals and everything like that, that's when people will turn to other shit like dope and everything, you know? Yeah, it's a crazy cycle the way that it happens. You hear that story a lot. A lot of people started with 
pills, and then once they couldn't get pills, they turned to the other shit that you can get on the streets, right? It's fucking crazy, dude. It's really unfortunate. It's something that we need to work on. We need to work on solving our problems with the logic of our mental and the strength of our hearts instead of the fucking time and destruction spent inside of addictions. And a lot of times the circumstantial, it's an environment that you're in where a lot of people are doing it, especially small towns. Small towns tend to have a bad problem with it. It's also deep-seated in the community because everybody knows each other. So it's like, you guys know. You guys know how it goes, especially in the smaller kind of environments. Big cities are just rampant with a lot of gang issues and stuff like that that handle a lot of the drugs and shit, but on the other side of the spectrum on a smaller level, it's a little bit, it's a little bit like more personal and deep, right? It cuts very deep whenever it's on the small town kind of level, and that's something we need to work on getting people better things to do, more fun things to do in places that are boring a lot of the time, and encouraging each other to go have fun doing other things, like nature walking or even leaving town to go somewhere that has things to do and stuff like that. Just anything, man. Anything at all that's not a fuck ton of drugs and alcohol, right? That's the point that I'm getting at. Go to church or something. Like, go find faith. Find God, find Jesus, and then hang out with them with yourself. Like, you don't have to go to church to hang out with God and hang out with Jesus. That's a lot more personal if you do it yourself. Like, find better things to do. That's what I'm getting at here. I love you guys. The original video will be in the description. As always, subscribe to all the artists we have on the channel. That's what we do this for. Get the music out into the world. I hope you guys enjoyed these guys. I'm going to have to look into some more of them because I like them. I like this a whole lot. Their vibe is awesome. Super awesome punk vibe here. So thank you, Way. We're going to get out of here. I'm Bacasa Kabi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. So I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.